what's up y'all welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome in if you are new here my name is ashley if you are returning welcome back friends so today i am bringing you the second episode to brooklyn tales and I'm so happy you guys are enjoying it so far. I'm not gonna lie. Playing this LP is really, really refreshing to me because it's such a difference between this LP and the Black Widow challenge. It's not as chaotic. It's definitely more realistic. And I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'm happy you guys are rocking with this LP. As always, if you have not seen the first episode, I highly suggest you go back and watch the first one before watching this one. <gasps> child not the vampires at the door the door is locked so i'm not worried <laughs> but anyways it looks like our girl brooklyn is up she's still tired girl go back to sleep i was not finished talking the vampires interrupted me all right so back to what i was saying <laughs> So we are back home. Um, last episode, we left off at our parents' house, but we came back home. We didn't want to overstay our welcome. So alas, here we are. Last episode, we applied for university. So we're still waiting to hear back to see if we got accepted into a school so we can choose our major. And then also we applied for some scholarships. So I'm hoping this episode, we find out if we received a scholarship. We did get $1,000 from our parents, so I'm hoping this episode we can buy our food cart and get started on our business. And then also, Penny reached out to us and said that she wanted to go on a date. Then she called us again and told us that she went on a date with someone else and that she had a lot of fun. So I think that we should have a conversation with Penny this episode. All right, y'all. It looks like our girl Brooklyn is up. Um, Charlie's still sleeping and I'm hoping she stays asleep for a while so we can handle some things. So it looks like she's going to need to eat soon. So I'm going to have Brooklyn come up in here and we need to eat some lactation cookies because the last time we could not pump any breast milk. So I'm going to have her eat two and hopefully that works. I want us to breastfeed our baby. Is she up? Child, she just woke up. She didn't even give us two seconds. <laughs> but I guess this is like real life, right? <laughs> All right, Brooklyn, come in here. And let's see. Oh, wait, she's still asleep. Why is they she up? That's so weird. Come in here and let's pump the left side. And hopefully we can get some milk this time. Uh-oh. Is she waking up? oh no <laughs> all right charlie okay we coming girl we coming i promise y'all i thought we was gonna have a little bit of time to do some things but sis woke up did we get anything it don't look like we got nothing hold on hold on hold on, hold on. pump the right side all right we trying to pump the right side right now Hopefully we can get something out of the right boob. I mean, if not, we can just give our baby formula and we'll just keep trying with the cookies. Child, Charlie is so mad. <laughs> we coming, Charlie. Y'all, we still ain't get nothing. All right, Brooklyn, I know you gotta use the bathroom, but wait, 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 we gotta feed our baby first. I'll make some baby formula. Quick. How is Charlie doing? She's still sleepy. I don't understand why she woke up. So hopefully after we give her this bottle, she'll go back to sleep and we can handle some business. Otherwise, we might have to call our mom over here to come help us. All right, perfect. Charlie done fell back to sleep, but we gonna wake her up and feed her so she can like sleep a little bit longer and don't have to wake up in the middle of her nap. Poor Brooklyn. She gotta use the bathroom. But we gotta take care of the needs of our baby first. That's how it goes. This is motherhood. <laughs> Hello, power... Goodbye. They done turned our power off. <laughs> we do not need this right now. Oh my God. I hate those neighborhood action plans with a passion. 
All right, Charlie. I told you we were coming. Sorry we took so long, boo. All right, so after we feed and burp the baby, we're gonna have to put her back to sleep because we got some business to handle. All right, let's burp her. And we are gonna put her to sleep. Aww. How freaking cute. <laughs> All right, Brooklyn, let's go use the bathroom. And then you need to eat, my friend, before you pass out. I cannot wait until Charlie can eat actual adult food. So that way we can cook in bulk and then she can just grab a serving. Because at this point, making these bottles, honey, it's a lot of work. <laughs> um... Let's grab something quick. Maybe we can do a ham and cheese sandwich. And this power not being on is pissing me off. I promise you. <laughs> All right, let's sit down and eat. Y'all, why I was looking in Brooklyn's inventory and it says university acceptance letter. I don't recall getting any sort of mail or like a notification. Now that she's finished eating, we're gonna have to go ahead and read this. Oh, <gasps> yo, we got accepted. This makes me so happy. So we did not get accepted into any distinguished degrees from Foxbury, which is okay. You know, we're not gonna let that get us down because we got accepted to the University of Brychester for culinary arts. That is so lit. Brooklyn, I'm proud of you. All right, so why can't we throw this away? Do we not have a trash can? Hello? We do. What? Do y'all game be doing it? I hate it because it happens every so often. It does not happen consistently. All right, y'all, so this is just the first step of Brooklyn's journey on her culinary career. And I'm so excited for sis. I think that we should call our parents and let them know that we got into university. That's crazy. I mean, I definitely didn't doubt you, Brooklyn. Brooklyn is so happy, girl. Not you scratching, hello. <laughs> when is this thing going to pass? So we still got 19 more hours of scratching. So since we don't have any power, I'm thinking maybe we can go to our parents' house or maybe we can go to our aunt's house since we went to our parents' house last episode. I think we should call our aunt. And for those of you who don't know, Brooklyn has two aunts on her mother's side. Um, so we're going to go see her favorite aunt. We're going to ask her if we can come over because we need to enroll in university. So hopefully she says yes. Okay, so Aunt Dolores said, of course, we can come over. So of course, we're going to go and we're going to take our baby with us. Hello, can we not take our child? Is that a joke? All right. We're just going to go and I'm going to bring little Charlie with us when we get there. All right, so we made it to Aunt Dolores' house. I'm gonna bring our baby here because I don't want to pay for daycare. Child, not them spawning my baby on the floor. Um, Let's come over here and, ooh, not drugs, hello. Let's put her in the back carrier. Is him walking around in his underwear. <laughs> All right, perfect. So let me give you guys a little background on Aunt Dolores. This is her house. She lives in Oasis Springs. This is really sending me, sir. Why you don't have no pants on? <laughs> Anyways, she lives in Oasis Springs in this beautiful house. 
This is our bougie aunt, the one who's single, she doesn't have any kids, she makes a lot of money. She works as a CEO in this big corporate company and she's real business savvy, so she knows how to start a business. Um, and she happens to be Brooklyn's favorite aunt. She's that auntie that be at the cookouts and that's the life of the party, bringing the liquor, you know, who thinks she's real young and trying to keep up with all the young people in the family. That is Dolores. <laughs> So we're gonna come up in her house and use her computer because the power is shut off in our apartment. We already got our acceptance letter. So the last thing we need to do is enroll in university. So let's come over here and greet our aunt. Let's ask her how she's doing, ask her about her day to see how she's been. We haven't seen her in a while. And sir, I'm gonna send you away because why are you outside with no pants on? Can we not send them away? Mm-mm. Hold on, y'all. Uh, make him leave. Yes. Hi, sir. All right, so the Lorks don't really know Charlie. So I think that we should introduce Charlie to Dolores. Because this is our favorite auntie. Aw. Let's see how Charlie is doing with Dolores because y'all know Charlie not into strangers like that. Uh-oh. It look like she not too pleased. <laughs> Poor baby. She'll warm up. Eventually, she's going to warm up to Dolores. Um, Let's talk about our dreams. Let's let her know that we got into university and we're trying to start our business. Because, you know, we look up to Dolores. We one day want to have a nice house like Auntie Dolores. And let's also let her know that we need to use our computer because we got into university and we now have to enroll in classes. Ciao, Charlie. It's okay, baby. <laughs> oh my God. Mommy has to enroll in school. Can you be nice for Auntie Dolores, please? And let's see how she's doing. Maybe she's hungry. She just sleepy at the moment. Laura's like, I'm going to give you back your baby because, girl, <laughs> you know, me and children, we don't get along that well. <laughs> okay, so let's come up in here and we need to find Dolores computer. All right, let's come in here. Uh, Maybe we can put Charlie down here and then we need to sit here and enroll into classes. So let's do that right now. Girl, why you put the baby here? No. <laughs> she too far away. Come, pick her up. All right, perfect. Let's come over here and put Charlie down here. We don't need her too far away from us. Poor Brooklyn. She's so tired. She definitely needs a break. Maybe we can drop Charlie off at our parents after we finish enrolling in university and then Brooklyn can get some rest. All right, let's sit down and let's come over here and enroll in a university. So remember, we didn't get into any distinguished degrees at Foxbury. So we're definitely gonna go to Brightchester. And then our distinguished degree is going to be culinary arts. I'm thinking we should take at least two classes, kind of build our way up, see how this semester goes. And if we feel like, you know, we can start adding more classes the next semester, maybe we can take three or four classes the next time around. Um, so we'll do kitchen knowledge and then kind of chew, refining the palate. And obviously we have a baby, so we cannot stay on campus. We will be staying home. So the classes are $240 each, but look, y'all, it looks like we got the scholarship for education for all. So we technically don't have to pay nothing. I love that for us. That is so 
fire. Okay, so our first class is in 18 hours. Child, do we have homework already? We have homework already. Um, so while our baby is chilling over there, she's not making a fuss. Let's try to do some homework. I don't know how long she's gonna last doing this homework, but child, we're gonna try our best. <laughs> Dolores, what you eating? She over here eating a bowl of peas. We need to cook for our aunt because she needs to be eating better than this. Hello? All this money you got and you eating green peas. Girl, get your life. <laughs> I feel terrible that our baby is literally all the way over here. Can we like ask Aunt Dolores to come pick us up <laughs> while our mom is doing her homework? let's see are we hungry yes we are hungry so let's try to get fed by aunt dolores i know she's not too keen on children but you gonna take care of charlie today it takes a village raising a little kid honey we need all the help we can get <laughs> Oh, it looks like Charlie's warming up to Dolores and Dolores is warming up to Charlie. I love that. I bet you these two gonna be the best of friends. All right, how we doing, Brooklyn? Child, she is struggling, my poor baby. All right, take a quick little nap. All right, hopefully the nap will do you some good, girl. You definitely need it. How are we feeling with our other needs? We definitely need to have some fun. I think we need to drop Charlie off at our parents' house and maybe give Penny a call and see if we can have a conversation with her. Dolores, where you put my baby? Hello, where is Charlie? Um, uh, she done put my baby in the kitchen next to the stove. Y'all, Dolores is a mess. Child, let's come, let's come pick up our baby. Dolores like, y'all know I do not be watching nobody, kid. <laughs> y'all, she about to pass out. She ain't gonna make it. She not gonna make it. She's literally like sleeping with her eyes open. Because what? It says she has energy failure, but she's still standing here. Girl, go take a nap. Yes. Go to sleep. I don't know how we gonna make it. The poor girl is always exhausted. And now we have... Two college classes we gotta get through. Now she gets up. Now she passes out. You literally can't make this up. You was on a perfectly good couch, sis. Why did you get up to pass out on the floor? <laughs> and Dolores is just over here unfazed watching her TV. She's like, not my baby, not my problem. <laughs> All right, y'all, it is clear to me that Dolores is not really into children like that. <laughs> so we're having a hard time getting her to, like, help us out a little bit. So I think that we should go to our parents' house and maybe we should sleep the night there, try to get some homework done. I feel like that's the best place for us to do it because obviously our parents will handle Charlie with no problem. And we can get some schoolwork done. So let's head over to our parents' house. Uh, we have made it to our parents' house and look at how cute these little decorations are. They're really feeling festive, but I cannot believe it is snowing in Willow Creek and it was so hot in freaking Oasis Springs. Brooklyn, I don't know where you're going, sis, but we gotta go inside. Why can't we knock on the door? Hello? Oh, did you put my bed? Brooklyn. 
Like, you cannot be for real right now. You just cannot. Put her in the back carrier. Why do you have this baby on this cold ground in the snow? Thank you. Why we can't knock on the door? So after a bajillion years, <laughs> I finally figured out what the issue is. Um, basically, the back door is set to the front door. So we're going to have to come back here and knock on the back door. I'm going to have to fix that at some point. Brooklyn, hurry up. <laughs> Our baby don't like the cold, girl. Poor Charlie. Let me see. Why is she so sad? She's sad because she's in a strange place. Charlie is in an unfamiliar location, which is upsetting. My poor baby. Charlie, you're going to have to get used to it, girl. You can't be so attached to your mom and so attached to that dirty apartment, girl. We got to get you to venture out and experience some things because this ain't it. All right, we finally made it to the back door. Let's knock on it. Perfect. All right, go inside. Let's maybe go upstairs. Um, Let's see, let's see. Our baby needs to get fed, so maybe we can feed her real quick. And then after we feed her, we need to try to squeeze some homework in before we got to go to sleep. Uh, let's bottle feed her. <laughs> While she's doing that, I forgot to tell you guys. The parents ended up decorating the house for Christmas. So we have a Christmas tree over here. How freaking cute is this? And they have a ton of gifts under the tree. They have Christmas cards on the coffee table, Christmas cards on top of the fireplace. They also have some Christmas stocking. And then in the kitchen, they have a gingerbread house. They have some cookies for Santa. And then I don't know if you guys can see it, but along the wall, there are some lights. So this room looks really, really nice at night when the lights are off and it's just the Christmas lights on. They will not be spending Christmas in this house. Usually her parents will host Christmas in this house, but they decided to go to a ski resort this year. So we will be spending Christmas in Mount Kamarabi. All right, perfect. Let's burp the baby. We need to hurry up and put Charlie down. Um, I know you're not about to put this baby down outside. Brooklyn, do not play with me, sis. Don't do it. D uh, the parents are... Why are they naked? <laughs> Why are they naked? Please. Child, I don't know what these parents were doing, but now the dad is downstairs working out. The mother is up here trapped behind the chair and she's naked texting on her phone. <laughs> like you cannot make this stuff up my game is so ghetto i'm gonna have to help sis out because i really think she's stuck behind here i don't think she can move all right perfect um let's actually do a little bit of homework before we pass out so our first class is kitchen knowledge so we're gonna do our kitchen knowledge homework uh, so let's do that right now. And then while you're doing your homework, Brooklyn, let me help your mom out and teleport her from behind this chair. <laughs> I teleported her down the stairs and hello. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Mom, don't play with me, girl. Because I know you're not pregnant at your big age. Please. <laughs> Y'all think she pregnant? I hope she not pregnant. I hope this diaper is here because there's a baby in the house and that baby happens to be Charlie. All right, Brooklyn, how we doing, love? She's not gonna last very long. We have only just started our homework and she's real sleepy. 
Let's see how Charlie is doing. Charlie seems to be in a good mood. I'm going to have her actually change into something more comfortable. Let's put this on. And then I'm going to have her play with some toys so we can unlock some milestones. Okay, so it looks like she might be warming up to the grandparents' house. All right, how we doing, Brooklyn? Let's see how much progress we made on this homework. We only got 25% done, and our dad want to be here talking to us. Dad, I love you and all, but like... My first day of classes is tomorrow, and I'm a little bit nervous, and I'm trying to get this homework done. Aw, she has a sentiment with her father. So it says, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me too. That's so sweet. But dad, we gotta get this homework done. Hey, please. All right, I think we're gonna have to call it because Brooklyn is about to pass out. Let's go downstairs and we're gonna sleep in our old bedroom. Hopefully Charlie is okay up here with her grandparents. And she's actually gonna need a diaper change soon. Maybe grandpa or grandma can like help her out with that. All right, our good sis is down here sleeping. She is really exhausted. Like, look at her energy. If I did not tell her to stop doing that homework, she would have passed out for sure on the floor. Hopefully, when we wake up in the morning, we have enough time to finish our homework because we really want to do good in school. We don't want to fail. And university in The Sims is really hard to pass. So hopefully we can get that done. Let's see, what time is our class in the morning? So we have class at 9.30, so maybe I'll wake her up at 6 so she can finish the rest of her homework and like shower and do all the other things she needs to do. It looks like Charlie is sad, so let's see what's going on with sis. She's still sad for being in a strange place and she needs help. What's wrong, Charlie? I'm going to have her use her diaper. And then we're going to ask grandma to change it. I told her to use her diaper, but it don't look like she stinks. I don't even think she needs a diaper change at this point. All right, Charlie's really tired. So let's get put to bed by grandma. This is over here looking real dazed. I don't know what her and dad was doing up here, but <laughs> she looking dazed. She is sweating. She had diaper bubbles over her head. Chow. I don't know. Grandma, put us in the crib. Thank you. All right, Charlie, let's try to go to sleep, love. You are finally in your grip. Look at her soothing herself to sleep. Child, she's so mad. <laughs> Aw, sleep tight, Charlie. All right, y'all, it is six in the morning. Actually, it's after six o'clock. I need to get that alarm clock back in my game so we can use it to get our Sims to wake up in a timely fashion. Um, but I'm going to wake her up and I'm going to have her try to continue doing her homework. Hopefully we can get this done before we have to go to class in a few hours. So Brooklyn, let's hurry up and get this done. Charlie is asleep. Her needs are taken care of. So this is the only time we have to do this, girl. All right, let's see how we're doing. So we're 50% done. We're halfway there. Um, we have about an hour and a half left before we have to go to class. Brooklyn, are you sick? What's going on? Not hair on fleek. Goodbye. <laughs> 
Y'all, when did she put pink lotion in her hair? I am dead. <laughs> I don't think she's sick. I don't know what that was about. I think that might have been the sporosis she was experiencing from the molds. But she seems fine now, so hopefully all goes well. Today's our first day of school, so we can't be sick. We gotta be able to focus. All right, how are we doing? We're 75% done, we're almost there. Mom, I hope you are making food for the house cause girl, we hungry. We starving. <laughs> if she makes a single serving, I am going to flip this computer and throw it out the window, I promise you. What you making? Let's see. She made mac and cheese? One serving? Mom. That's crazy. <laughs> I guess we on our own for breakfast. Did we finish our homework? Let's see. Yes, we finished everything perfect and we still got a little bit of time left. So let's come in here and let's quickly brush our teeth. We probably should have did that first, but whatever. And then hopefully, Let's see how our hygiene is looking. We're still pretty clean. Um, we got to use the bathroom. So let's do that right now while we're in the bathroom. And then maybe we can come over here and open some Captain Crunch. And take us a bowl of cereal to go. Girl, hurry up and grab you some cereal. Did she open it? Oh yeah, she opened it. Let's eat it. It looked like she got a fever, but I don't see no buffs. I'm so confused. Like, is she sick for real? All right, let's finish up our cereal and then we can make our way to our first class. And it looks like our baby just woke up. What's wrong? She's hungry. Grandma's feeding her. See, look, y'all, Charlie's in good hands. I love that for sis. All right, let me get back to our girl, Brooklyn, because I do not want her to be late for class. All right, sis, we got to go. <laughs> I know you did not finish your cereal, but we have to leave. We have school. Let's go to class. Uh, Brooklyn is at class right now. Hopefully her first day of school goes well. I am rooting for sis. I need her to do well in school so that way we can become a professional culinary chef and make a lot of money. <laughs> they ended up sending Charlie to daycare. I hate that. But I mean, it's the Sims. What can we do, right? Um, I think the next time what I'm going to do is have the grandparents come over here before Brooklyn has to go to her next class. That way they can watch her while we're at school. Y'all, we made it home from class. And why does it say that Brooklyn showed up to class but wasn't as prepared as she should have been and probably could have gotten more out of the class. She may need to do some more studying on her own to make up for this. I'm livid. Cause what do you mean? Hold on, not Penny texting us. Hey Brooklyn, it's me Penny. Do you want to go out on a date? Wait, why does she want to go to Patty Wax Emporium? A retail spot. Penny, please be so for real. No, we not going there. Actually, we're going to plan a date with Penny because what? Girl, you cannot be serious. Let's actually spend a little bit of time with our baby before we even attempt to go out with Penny. I think that we should first come here and vacuum the floor. And then maybe we can do a little bit of tummy time with Charlie. And then after we do that, we can probably call our parents, ask them to come over because we want to go out. Brooklyn, I could have sworn I told you to come over here and vacuum. <laughs> we got to vacuum this floor before we put our baby on the floor for tummy time. Y'all, I hate my game. I hate my game because why did she come out here to vacuum? I'm genuinely confused. Confused. But let me let you live, sis, because what? 
It's crazy. She's vacuuming outside of the dirty apartment. Charlie, how we doing, baby? She's over here putting her foot in her mouth. I can't. That's so cute. At least she's in a good mood. I love that. Has our baby been going through it for the past few days? Is she sleepy? Let's see. Yeah, she is tired. So I don't know if we're going to get some tummy time in. I really want Brooklyn to spend some time with Charlie. So we can unlock these milestones and eventually age her up. All right, Brooklyn has finished vacuuming. Let's come over here and let's get our mail. I don't think there's anything important in the mailbox. Or at least there shouldn't be. No, I don't think so. All right, and let's come over here. And I don't know if we can do tummy time with Charlie because she's so tired. Yeah, I don't think we can do tummy time right now. So we're going to let her go to sleep. All right, we're going to call our parents over and see if they can watch Charlie while we go out with Penny. So mom is here. Let's unlock the door and invite her in. Actually, let's give her an apartment key because why not, you know? I mean, they barged in here anyway <laughs> last episode, so they might as well have a key. Can we also give dad a key as well? Yes, we can. So let's do that right now. I guess before we go, we can kind of complain about our professor, talk about classes and how they said we weren't doing enough and it's only the first day. Mom is horrified, I'm dead. <laughs> Child, these two don't ever get tired of flirting, I promise you. <laughs> now that our parents are here and they're watching Charlie, I think that we should go to the place that Brooklyn feels like it's a good idea to have a date at. Because I do not know why Penny thought it was a good idea for us to go shopping on a first date. Unless she was paying for everything. And I highly doubt it. <laughs> so we are going to actually go to Top Golf, Because I feel like that's fun. That's cute. All right, friends, we have made it to our destination. We are at Top Golf in Newcrest. And this should be fun. This should be a really fun, cute date. Look at Brooklyn. She did not come to play, okay? She looks so good in this little outfit. Penny look cute too. I love this for them. They look so good. Let's come over here and greet our girl. Let's do affection and then we can hug her. Aww. <laughs> that was cute. Let's maybe. Compliment her appearance and tell her she looks nice. Cause she really do. Um, Brooklyn. Please don't embarrass me, girl. Get up. Child, stand up. <laughs> What's wrong, Penny? <laughs> Brooklyn, I'm gonna need you to get off this floor. Like, ASAP. All right, so Brooklyn is hungry. Let's come in here and grab us a table. It looks like there's Sims already in here golfing. I want us to go upstairs. Hopefully no one is up here. Because we're going to say that Brooklyn rented this little private party room. And they can come in here and hang out, play video games, and play pool. But for right now, since our girl is hungry, we're going to come up here and request the table. And then after, we can play some golf and play some games. What y'all doing down here? Brooklyn, girl, get off this floor. We can go inside and talk. It looked like Penny hungry too. Come on, let's go. All right, so we're finally going to request our table. I guess we gotta wait for him to come back over here because he went over there and started talking to somebody else. Brooklyn, it's gonna be all right. We gonna get some food real soon. Hurry up, old man. <laughs>
Okay, we finally made it to our table. It looks like Penny is coming to sit down. Once she sits down, I guess we can order our food. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's order for the table. We can do a Corona for Penny. And because Brooklyn is breastfeeding, well, at least attempting to breastfeed, we're not gonna do any alcohol. So we're gonna do a raspberry lemonade. And then for food, we can do grilled shrimp salad for the both of them. <laughs> so while we wait on our food, let's talk to our girl. Let's actually flirt a little bit. Y'all ain't gonna lie, they're kind of cute. I don't know if I'm shipping Brooklyn and Penny just yet because I feel like we still have to have a conversation with Penny about the mixed signal she's been giving us. Um, So can we like, let's first ask her about our day. We don't want to press too hard just yet. Um, Brooklyn. Penny has learned that following traits about Brooklyn. She learned that she's faithful. Yes, Brooklyn is very faithful, but girl, calm down because we are not there with Penny just yet. And no, we're not sleepy. I'm sorry. Because we got to have some fun, okay? Let's have a deep conversation with Penny and let her know that, you know, we really like her, but we don't know how she's feeling. Because she went on a date with somebody else. But like we real serious about her. Brooklyn has learned the following traits about Penny. She learns that she's outgoing. Okay, well we know that. <laughs> oh. I don't know if this is going kind of good, y'all. But Penny's little outgoing trait might get her in trouble with Brooklyn because y'all know she's a little bit jealous. Uh, let. What can we do? Let's flirt some more. Child, this lighting is making them look so pale. <laughs> but it's all right. Let's do a little cute pickup line. All right, so it looks like our food is coming, finally. All right, so let's hurry up and eat. So we can go ahead and play some golf, maybe play some pool. Brooklyn, you not eating, sis? She is in such a good mood. She's on cloud nine. I'm telling y'all, she really, really likes Penny. And Penny seems to like her, but I don't know. Y'all know she's really outgoing. She's very flirtatious. So we're going to see how this relationship plays out. Hopefully, Penny, that outgoing trait does not get you in trouble, sis. Because Brooklyn is really feeling you. All right, so we're finished eating. Our fun is so low. Like, really, really low. Um, That's probably because we were in school earlier in the day. Um, it's time for us to have some fun. So let's come over here and play some golf. We'll let Penny finish drinking her Corona. Let's see how good you are, Brooklyn. Okay, sis. Oh. Look at Penny coming over here to watch her girl golf. How cute. All right, Brooklyn, let's see how good Penny is at golfing. Penny, come over here and you try. All right, let's see what you got, Penny. All right, so she's pretty decent too. It don't look like she's missing anything. Brooklyn, why are you over there looking at this guy? 
Come over here and watch your girl. Turn around. All right, so now that we finished eating and we got a little bit of golf in, I think we should come inside and play some pool. So let's come in and play pool with Penny. All right, let's see what the pool is giving. This is kind of cute. If you guys do not have this mod, please add it into your game. It adds extra gameplay and it's something fun for your sims to do. Chow and these animations? Don't even get me started. <laughs> Utopia really did this. All right, so who gonna break? Is it gonna be you, Penny, or is it gonna be Brooklyn? Let's see. All right, so it looks like Brooklyn is breaking. Okay, period, sis. So she's yellow ball. So that means Penny is red ball. Damn, Brooklyn. <laughs> All right, Penny, what you got? Seven A. <laughs> it looked like she's strategizing. Child, why is Penny so good at this? <laughs> nah, she ate you up, Brooklyn. How you gonna let her do that? Y'all, I think this date is going really well. These two are so cute. And Brooklyn looks so happy. I love this for her. She definitely needs it. Y'all know sis is a good mom trying to provide for Charlie. It's time for her to let her hair down and have fun, you know? So it is getting late. I think we should call it a night. But before calling it a night, I think we should have our first kiss. Oh, hold on. Not there. <laughs> Wait, did they just levitate? Stop playing with me. I don't know. This might be the start of a budding romance, and I'm here for it. No, oh, not they flew up in the air. That's crazy. Look at Brooklyn. She is on cloud nine. I love this for you, sis. Um, now we talking about babies at the date. Let's not do that. <laughs> Since this date has gone so well, I think that Penny should come with us to the ski resort for Christmas and we can introduce her to our family. As you know, our potential girlfriend in the future and see how she gets along with our family and see how things goes. Also see how she gets along with Charlie to see if we have a future with Penny. Cause I don't know. Brooklyn really seems to like her. So hopefully Penny don't break her heart and she's real serious about Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. Hold on. <laughs> so I think this date was really, really successful. Like, look at our girl's buffs. She's feeling flirty from having a magical kiss. Brooklyn just had a kiss so magical that it fell out of this world. Girl, calm down. <laughs> nah, let me stop playing with you, Brooklyn. I'm really happy for you, girl. I just hope it all works out and that Penny is being genuine with the things that she's telling you, sis. Like, look, she even have a thought bubble about Penny. We just went on a date and she wants to ask Penny on another date. Like, that's crazy, Brooklyn. Like, girl, we got to play a little hard to get. <laughs> okay, so now that this date is over, let's hurry up and get back home because we need to start packing for this little ski trip that we're taking with our family. And now Penny's going to be coming with us, so this should be really fun. 
I'm excited for her to meet Charlie, to meet the rest of the family, to see how everyone gets along, and hopefully all goes well. All right, we made it home. Brooklyn could not wait to get back home to Charlie. Let's come in here and give our little baby a kiss. I don't know why she on the floor, hello? Um, let's come pick her up. And we gotta start packing and getting ready to go on this little ski trip. Charlie, we missed you, love. Did you miss mommy? Mommy was missing you on her date. She was even talking about you to Penny. Even though I told her not to talk about no babies on this date. <laughs> Aw, Charlie, why are you so sad? You're upset that mommy went on a date? Oh, she's freezing. My oh, poor baby. Okay, Brooklyn, come and set this thermostat warmer. Because our baby is so cold. We sorry, Charlie. Okay, so now that it's warming up in here, let's come and freshen up. Let's take a speedy shower. And then once we shower, we can... Girl, why does she pose like that? <laughs> once we shower, we can then head over to the ski resort, meet our family, and meet up with Penny. We have finally made it to the ski resort where we will be spending Christmas. Right now, it's just us. I think Penny is here. We're just waiting on our parents, our Aunt Dolores, and also our Aunt Rachel, who you guys have not met yet, and her family. So let me give you guys a quick little tour of the ski resort. I think it is so freaking cute. So over here on the left, we have a little skating rink. And then I believe we have one, two, three different cabins. Um, over here, you can buy souvenirs, any sort of like snow gear that you need. So ice skates, you have skis, you have snowboards. And then over here, we have a little seating area and then we also have a small little cafe. This is the first cabin. This is where Penny, Brooklyn, and Charlie will be staying. As you enter the front door, this is the dining room. Back there is the kitchen. On this side, child, look at Penny over here, already lighting the fireplace, making herself at home. <laughs> Okay, Penny, I see you. All right, so we have a little Christmas tree over there in the corner. This is the living room. Back here, we have the bedroom. We also have a Christmas tree in the room. We're gonna have to put down a little crib or something for Charlie because this resort did not have any baby furniture in it. Through this door, we have the bathroom. So this is where Penny, Charlie, and Brooklyn will be staying. This is cabin number two. So this is where Aunt Rachel and her family will be staying. Aunt Rachel has a husband and two kids. So they will be staying in this two bedroom cabin. As you enter the front door, they also have a Christmas tree and this is the living room. Through this door on this side, this is where her children will be sleeping. They also have a Christmas tree in the room. And then on the other side, through this door, this is where Aunt Rachel and her husband will be sleeping. As you go further into the cabin, we have the dining room. And then on the left side, we have the kitchen. On the other side of the dining room, we have, I believe, a sauna. Yeah, we have a sauna in this corner. And then through this door, we have the bathroom. So this is Aunt Rachel's cabin. And the last cabin is cabin number three. This is where our parents and Aunt Dolores will be staying. As you can imagine, our bougie Aunt Dolores won her own cabin, but the family did not think that was a wise idea because she does not have a family. It's only her. So she got to deal with bunking with our parents. So as you enter the front door, this is the living room. We have a Christmas tree over here with some gifts. We also have a little table in the middle with some wine and some hot cocoa and cookies. I think this is the cabin where we're gonna actually spend Christmas. Um, through this door, this is where Aunt Dolores will be staying. It's a cute little room. I don't know how Dolores will feel about it, but I like it. <laughs> and then as you go to the other side, this is where our parents will be staying. So they will be in this cute little room over here. They also have a Christmas tree as well. 
And then as you go further into the cabin, similar to how Aunt Rachel's floor plan was, this is the dining room. And then on the opposite side, we have the kitchen. And then on the other side of the dining room, I believe they have a sauna as well. Yeah, so they have a sauna in this corner and they also have the bathroom over here. So it's not too bad. Dolores is just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> So this is where we will be spending Christmas.
All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I want to wish each and every one of you a merry, merry Christmas. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.